Most plants will go through stages of growth and dormancy. Dormancy in biology is a period in which organisms partially or fully stop growth and development. Their metabolic function is minimal. The most widely known cause of dormancy is winter and cold, but succulents and other plants have quite a few different lesser known triggers that can cause them to become dormant. In this video we'll discuss the major causes of dormancy in succulents and I will provide some examples of plants from my nursery. For those of you who like to read studies, I'm also going to include links on the subject in the description. Let's start with the most common and known reason for dormancy in succulents, cold. It is important to note that most succulents are not very frost tolerant and should not be left outdoors in freezing temperatures. Some succulents such as Sempervivum will tolerate a deep freeze and snow while a few others survive mild frosts, but most will die if the frost settles on them. Cold is a stress factor for plants and when it comes to succulents they are likely to experience partial or full dormancy because it is simply too chilly for them to grow. Most will also not propagate well when they are winter dormant. The propagations, whether it be cuttings or leaves, will either not do anything and start shooting roots once the weather warms up, they may die or grow a few tiny roots very slowly. Personally, I stop all propagation except for Aeonium and a few sedum cultivars by about mid-autumn and start propagating again at the beginning of spring. You can technically propagate throughout winter and trick succulents into growing if you can provide light and warmth. A friend of mine has a nursery with a hot house that they keep at a constant temperature of about 22 to 23 degrees with a huge oil heater where they propagate over the winter months. This gives them a huge advantage as they can sell when other nurseries like mine are low on stock. Succulents that are dormant because of cold will look a certain way and be at their most colorful. Out of all the stress factors that cause dormancy, cold is in my opinion the one that causes the most vibrant colors. Many succulents will not color up when it's not cold. Other signs include the plant closing up and becoming more compact. Only a few succulents become dormant every year naturally during summer. If the weather is not that hot though, they seem to be more partially dormant and will grow very slow. These are usually Aeonium, Samsetum and a few cultivars from other genera. But many succulents can go dormant during longer lasting heat waves, even though they would normally grow well during this time of year. In fact, many plants, not just succulents, can fully or partially shut down during extremely hot weather. There's good science behind this claim and I will link the article in the description, but I also have some great anecdotal experience with my nursery plants as it can get pretty hot in my part of the world. Although it has been pretty wet the past few years before the rains came in 2020, we were in the biggest drought on record and temperatures regularly pushed over 40 degrees Celsius. Pretty much all of my garden succulents ceased growing altogether over the summer months and some have even died. My nursery plants were under shade cloth and they did grow but not as much as they normally would. If you're experiencing high heat I would definitely recommend a shade cloth. It will prevent burns and can even save plants from cooking to death. Another alternative is to place potted succulents in shade outdoors. This may cause them to stretch a bit, but it's better than having them burn or die. When days get shorter, hormonal changes happen in succulents and many other plants. Just like with other triggers, the dormancy can be partial or full, often depending on where in the world you are. Less light coupled with cooler temperature have been reliable dormancy triggers, however things are changing. Even though some succulents will always be controlled by the daylight, others may become only partially dormant instead of fully dormant if the temperature is warm enough. I have an article on this linked in the description, but also a bit of an example of my own plants. I accidentally knocked off this Echeveria Violet Queen offset from a much bigger plant about a month ago. I planted it but because we're now officially in winter and days are short, it has grown absolutely no roots. And from past experience, it will not root until around the end of August when they start getting longer again. Despite it being winter, the temperatures are quite nice and mild. Today and yesterday we reached 21 degrees Celsius. I've also knocked off bits of this Ripsalis about a month ago and they are growing great, even shooting new branches. This is quite unusual though as I've not had Ripsalis grow this well in winter before. They normally go fully dormant. 
the changing climate is very likely going to have an effect on how plants behave and dormancy may not be as predictable as it once was. Succulents are incredibly efficient in drought and have many adaptations that allow them to store and maintain water levels. But even they can suffer in long-lasting droughts and especially when it's very hot as well. Switching off when water is scarce is however a good survival method. It allows succulents to slowly wait out the drought with their handy water storage. This is really my personal observation and I don't have science to back me up, but I do believe plants will go dormant if they lack root space and necessary nutrients. Severely rootbound plants often stop growing altogether and may even stop producing flowers. Their colors may show more due to being stressed and their leaves will grow smaller and more compact. They may even lose some lower leaves. Here's a good example. This Euphorbia flanagani has not been reported for some years. As a result, it has not really been growing or flowering. I've reported it about three months ago and look at all of this new growth. It is quite important to remember that different succulents may have different reactions and some may keep growing well even when in the same pot for many years. Others can suffer and eventually perish. And I think that is all for today. I hope this video was useful and if you have anything to add you can do so in the comments below. To learn more about succulents hit the subscribe button or go to our website succulentgrowingtips.com. Thank you so very much for watching.